Shopify has launched their new native subscriptions app. You can now easily create recurring orders and products right from the admin. Let's review how to set up the app and create your first subscription. You'll start by installing the Shopify subscriptions app from the App Store. The one-click install makes this easy. Just approve the app and you're ready to get started. After the install completes, the first thing you'll see is the handy setup guide. Let's follow each of these steps to configure the app. You'll start by creating subscription plans. The plans are where you create the recurring settings and discounts for that subscription. Let's create the first plan now. We can simply hit the Create Plan button from the main screen. We start by giving the plan a title. For our example, we'll create a simple recurring weekly grocery delivery box. You then need to select the products that will be included in the plan. We'll select one for now, but you can always add more than one product to use the same plan. We'll show you how to do this later. For now, we'll pick the grocery bundle box. Next, we need to configure the discount and delivery frequency. It's a good idea to offer your customers a discount when they're purchasing a subscription. You can use this setting to decide on the discount amount. Choose from a percentage, a dollar, or a flat rate amount. You can also choose not to offer a discount. Use the checkbox for the setting. Once you've selected the discount, it's time to set the frequency for the plan. This is the delivery interval for the products in the plan. You can use the settings to choose from days, weeks, or yearly. Once you've adjusted the frequency, you can save the plan. All of your active plans will show on the listing page in the subscription app. Let's continue with the setup guide and move on to the activation of the widget. When you click the Install Widget button, you'll be sent to your theme editor. From here, you will see the confirmation that the widget was added to your PDP theme. The widget is automatically installed with the app and lets you control the placement of the subscription choices within the theme. You can now use the theme editor to adjust the placement and the UI of the subscription section. Let's change the preview product to show the item that we added to the plan in our previous step. This will activate the widget text on the editor. So now you can see a preview of the subscription text on the PDP editor. You can drag and drop the section to design your own product page. We want the subscription to show more prominently, so let's move it up below the quantity selector. This will give the subscriptions a more obvious visibility on the product page. Once you've completed the theme design, click Save. We can now return to the subscription app and complete the rest of the setup. The next step is to turn on the subscription service in the store. You can do this by clicking on the button in the setup guide. This will send you to the customer account section of the settings page. It's important to note that the subscription service requires the new customer accounts. Make sure your store is configured correctly. Now scroll down to the manage subscription section you'll need to activate the subscriptions using the button provided. With the subscriptions activated, we can now return to the app and complete the final setup step. The last step involves customizing the notifications for the subscriptions. Your customers will receive emails from Shopify from the various subscription options. Let's review these now by clicking View Notifications. This will take you to the notification section of your store settings. From here, you can scroll down to see all of the subscription-specific notifications. You can manage the notifications and adjust the content for each one just by clicking. So now when we return to the app, we can see our new plan on the listings page. Now it's time to jump to the front end of the site and see how a customer will interact with a new subscription. Let's navigate to the grocery box product on our store. On the product page, we'll now see the subscription widget. The customer can choose to purchase this product using the subscription plan that we created. When the item is added to the cart, the subscription details are shown on the product. This will reassure the customer of their selection. 
The subscription details are also displayed on the checkout page. Let's complete this purchase and see how the order looks in the Shopify admin. Returning to the Shopify order admin, we can see the new subscription order in our list. By clicking on this, we'll bring up the order details page. From here, we can see that the item is part of the subscription. If you want to see more details about the subscription, click on the link on the line item. This will take you to the contract section of the subscription app for that order. This will show you the complete details of that recurring contract, including the frequency, discount, and upcoming orders for that customer. You can also access this information directly from the subscriptions app using the contracts link in the menu. From within the contract details, you can even administer the upcoming orders. This allows you to skip any order and provide customer service if necessary for that specific customer. So we know what the store administrator sees, but what about your customers? Let's jump back into the store and see how your customers manage their subscriptions. Using the new customer accounts page, your buyers can easily manage and see their orders and subscriptions. The order history will show the details of that specific order and the subscription information. There's now a new subscriptions button in the menu. Your customers can see and manage the subscription. This includes skipping and pausing any upcoming orders. If a customer chooses to skip or pause their orders, you can see their selections and the updated schedule in the contract section of the subscription app. Your administrators will always be up to date and know what's happening with subscription orders. We showed you a simple subscription, but what if you wanted to offer more options to the customer, maybe a weekly and a monthly subscription? You can configure this by adding a new option. Let's edit the weekly plan that we just created. Scroll down to the delivery and select add option. An additional delivery option will display and you can configure the new frequency. Let's make this one a monthly option and give it a different discount. Since the customer can now choose their plan, let's change the name of this plan to reflect the choice. Once we've made our changes, let's hit save. Let's now go back to the front end of the site and see the customer's choices. When we navigate back to the grocery bundle item, we'll still see the subscription box, but now there are two different choices for the customer. They can select a weekly or a monthly subscription option. You can easily create new plans and options and see them added to your list of plans in the app. You can create as many plans as you want and include different products. Just repeat the steps to create new plans. All of your new plans will show up in the plans list in the subscription app. You don't have to stick to one product per plan. You can create generic plans that include multiple products. Simply add as many items as you want to that specific plan. Use the checkboxes to select multiple items. Now, each product included in the plan will display the subscription details on the front end. Let's change the name of this plan to reflect the new options. When we quickly jump to the front end of the site, we can see the same subscription options for all of the products included in that plan. If you want to give your customers more direct access to their subscriptions, you may want to consider adding a link to your navigation. That way, customers can more easily manage their subscriptions. To do this, copy the subscription management link from the settings of the subscription app. Then, select the navigation controls from your online store channel. From here, we can easily add a new link to the main menu. Let's call it subscriptions and then copy and paste the link we just got from the settings area. Now when we save the menu and return to our storefront, we can see the new subscriptions link in our header menu. Clicking on this link will take customers directly to the subscription management page. One important note is that this early release of the subscriptions app is not compatible with bundle items or B2B orders. 
we expect Shopify to update this in future releases. If you're looking for an easy way to create subscriptions and benefit from recurring orders, then the new Shopify subscriptions app is the best way to get started. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Shopify videos. And if you need a Shopify expert for your project, contact us today.